It may be the first day of summer, but judging from national test scores, American kids still have a lot of learning left to do. An alarming set of statistics show an academic decline that started even before the pandemic. Fox says Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with more. A test known as the nation's report card shows kids are falling behind. The picture that has emerged so far has been sobering, showing unprecedented declines in students' knowledge and skills. The National Assessment of Educational Progress was given late last year to 13-year-olds who were just 10 or 11 when the pandemic began. Many were shut out of their physical classrooms for months or more than a year. And they were completing fourth and fifth grade. A very important time in the young student's education career. The test found math scores had their largest ever decline and are now at their lowest point since 1990. Reading scores haven't been this low since 2004. All achievement levels saw declines and those who were already low performing students were in double digit decline. This suggests that the pandemic may have accelerated learning declines for many student groups. It also found that a third of the students never or hardly ever read for fun. There was hope that there would already be academic recovery following the worst of the lockdowns, but that hope erased. The important thing here, I believe today is recovery, giving them as much time on task as possible and helping them to um, regain those skills. The test also found the percentage of students who reported missing more than five days of school or more a month has doubled since the pandemic began. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.